What's going on you guys? It's Caden here with Money Growth Academy. This is another couch flipping video and in this episode guys or in this video we make almost $2,000 in one day. Nearly $2,000 profit. I'm talking pure profit in almost one day. Literally barely over a day guys. It was absolutely the most bonkers one we've done so far. I think the closest we've got to this was like $1,500 in a day but we did just about $2,000 in one single day almost. So stay tuned for this video guys it's gonna be a good one all right you guys so thanks for tuning into this video you know I was thinking about taking a break from the couch flipping video I was on vacation for about two weeks and you know I thought I'd just come back and show you guys a bunch of other side hustle videos but after reading through the comments and you know what guys you guys inspired me to keep going especially after you'll see in this episode I met a subscriber who's actually flipping couches and he kind of gave me a little pep talk you know he's loving the couch videos so guys I'm gonna keep them coming because you guys want to keep seeing them so I really appreciate the feedback down below means a whole lot to me guys you know being the couch king it's a lot of pressure it really is but you know what guys i got a ton of other side hustle videos that i'm going to be releasing pretty soon here alongside of these couch flipping videos so i'm super super excited to show you guys those so make sure you subscribe like this video and stay tuned and comment down below other kind of side hustles you guys want to see because i'm down to try them all guys i'm been trying to flip like kitchen appliances like fridges you know things like laundry machines bed sets all other kinds of furniture and all kinds of crazy things guys I got tons of crazy ideas to show you, so make sure you stay tuned for all this. Okay, guys, and you know what? You remember who the old Couch King is. If you watch Couch Flipping videos, you know the old Couch King was Ryan Pineda. He is kind of one of the first ones in this space, so let's tag him down below in the comments. Let's get his attention. Let's let Ryan know, hey, there's a new Couch King in town, and it's me. I own the throne when it comes to Couch Flipping. No one else out there is making these kind of profits that we're making here, so let's let everyone on YouTube know. I am the Couch King, guys. We got this. Hustle Nation. Let's get after it. And without further ado, guys, let's hop into today's video. All right, what is going on, you guys? It's been a minute since we've been doing the couch flipping. I'm taking a quick break from the couch flipping videos to show you guys a few other side hustles. But don't worry, I will make sure I continue to do furniture flipping videos in the future, as well as this one. So I'm not sure when I'm going to be releasing this one. Anyhow, though, so let's talk about this couches I just got. So I'm still doing this as a side hustle because one, it makes really good money, and two, it makes really good content so I can show you guys how you can do the same thing and make tons and tons of money on the side. So I got two couches I did not film yet. So the first couch is our favorite, favorite modular sectional. You already know this is the one we always, always get. Now this one, you guys, really cool story here. So what happened with this one right here is a subscriber actually sold this one to us, a viewer of the channel. I've never ever had that happen before. I've actually never had anyone in public recognize me for this YouTube channel, which is really, really cool. It's the first time this has happened, so it's pretty exciting. Anyway, so he came and he delivered the couch and he's like, you know, I had a feeling you were the guy from YouTube. It's like, I watch you on YouTube all the time. He's like, yeah, I make pretty good money selling these couches. I was just doing that out in Oregon and then Vegas. He travels around and he does it. So that's a really, really cool idea. And I was actually thinking of showing you guys. Let me know down below. If this is something you'd be interested in is me going on road trips to different states and training in different states and showing you how you can live for free in different states or vacation for free if you have a truck or some way to transport these. Let me know if you want to see that down below. I might give that a try. So anyways, guys, this subscriber sold us this couch right here. We got our favorite modular section for $550. Probably going to sell this bad boy for around 1000 or so. Not sure. Anyways, let me take you in to show you the other one. So the other one is this nice light gray sectional here. Only one or two problems with this, maybe three. One of the first ones is, as you can see, some of these pillow cushions I think just need to be ironed. Now this does look really, really clean and that's because I already have actually ran this all through the washer, but there's no rips, no tears or anything like that. The next problem is this storage ottoman. As you can see, that part right there is clearly snapped off so it doesn't stay open. I might try and fix it or I might just remove it completely and just make it so you just have to kind of you know, manually open it, whatever. The next problem is these cushions. There's no support under them. Look how far that bows down. So if you look under there, the springs, they're just not strong enough anymore. And these little straps, look how loose those are. So what I'm thinking is what I tried over here is I just put this board underneath here. The solid board that I found this scrap one just to see if it would work. And look at that, hardly any slack like in these cushions over here where I can push all the way down. So I need to run to the hardware store and get another plank to put down right there and then we're gonna be in business. Anyways guys, so I'm really, really excited about this. I'm gonna show you guys more stuff on this couch flipping stuff. I've got a ton more side hustle ideas coming out pretty soon here so I'm really excited guys. Oh, and also guys, I forgot to mention that this couch right here, I got for $80. Yeah, I got this couch for $80. 
Trying to sell it right now for about $400, $450. We'll see what happens there. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys up in a second. I'll see you on the next one. All right, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back. So I was, remember, we were talking about earlier, I was thinking about maybe just not releasing this video for a while, doing some other side hustle videos, but I just read through a bunch of your guys' comments on my videos, and you guys are loving the couch flipping stuff, so we're going to keep at it, okay? I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep releasing the couch video every week, along with other side hustle videos, because I've got some other side hustle videos I'm about to start working on this week now that it's warmer outside. I'm going to show you guys how you can make some money doing some outside stuff besides couch flipping. So I'm super, super excited about that guys but I'm definitely gonna keep this couch series going because it is insane the amount of money we are making after especially running into that fan who sold me that couch and he told me he's making good money also selling couches guys you guys are inspiring me to keep going so I will absolutely love it anyways guys so the couch king is back we're here for the throne Make sure you tag Ryan Pineda down in the comments below. Let them know who the real Couch King is. Let them know I'm the Couch King. I'm here for the throne. This is my territory now, okay? We got this Money Growth Academy, a hustle nation. Let's get it. So let me show you guys this section I got real quick. So this section right here, you might already recognize that we actually have had this one before. It looks brown on the camera right now, but it is gray. It just looks weird with the sunlight back there. But this is great. If you remember, we got this one a while ago. We um, got it for about 300 or 325 I can't remember. We delivered it about 45 minutes away from my house and we got an extra $100 delivery for that. So we're gonna list this again, probably around $700. Hopefully someone pays us an extra 100 to deliver this one again. Anyways though, so this is a small little section right there and it's got that big storage on them, which luckily my roof rack is definitely coming in handy because I just was able to strap that right up there super, super easy instead of having to throw it on top of this or back here or whatever. So super convenient now that we got this truck in the roof rack and everything else, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one back to the studio and then I'll catch you guys up in a bit. All right, what's up you guys, welcome back. So I've got the sectionals down in here right now, and I almost forgot to film this part. You already know I always like to use this stuff right here. This is that Pet Fresh Carpet Order Eliminator. This stuff works really, really well, and I just use it on like my normal carpets. And as you know, I also sometimes use this stuff on the couches. And I'm using it on this couch and this couch back here because these couches smell really, really weird. And what I mean is this couch just kind of smelled like, uh, you know, just like an old like thrift store or something like that. And then this couch back here just kind of smelled like a, like a storage unit because it wasn't a storage unit and had like a dirty bit of smell. So I went ahead and I just threw that stuff on these first before I'm even hitting them with the Bissell just because I'm not able to Bissell them right now until probably later tonight or tomorrow. And it was really making the downstairs smell kind of weird. So I went ahead and just sprinkled that stuff on there. That's a really, really good hack, especially if you don't have like a Bissell and you just have like a vacuum or something like that and you're getting, you're getting like pretty clean couches and you don't have the money to buy a Bilsey yet, I would definitely make sure you get something like that, the odor eliminator, just sprinkle it on there and vacuum if you can't afford the Bissell yet. And that's only if you know you're getting really nice couches that are already in good shape. You're probably gonna have to Bissell them though like I usually always do. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one vacuumed off. I already did those two back there. So I'm gonna get these all vacuumed off and I'm actually going to pick up another couch in about an hour and you're not gonna believe it. I am picking up this couch once again. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know we love freaking to pick up this couch. So we're getting another one just like this one. I think it's in even better shape. The pictures look way, way good. So this couch right here we got for 550 or 525 and the couch we're about to get, this exact same one, we're getting for 4 50. So that's a freaking steal right there. So I'll let you guys know when we're picking that one up. Alright, what's going on you guys? So if you remember earlier, we were talking about this couch right here. And remember how when I pushed down right there, it was nice and firm because they put that board under there. And then when we pushed down over here, it was really, really saggy. Now I did not film this part because it's pretty straightforward and kind of boring actually. And I know you guys are really just here for the money. So we're not even going to waste your time on that stuff. So as you can see now, when I push down, Look how nice and firm that is. So now we don't have to worry about you sitting on it and it's all super saggy and people are like, what the heck is going on? That was a super, super easy fix. Like I showed you over there, I just did the exact same thing. I just got a 63 inch board for the length of this. I cut open under here. As you can see, I cut everything open under there and I just simply slipped that new board up under there and it was super, super easy. And then we just screwed that new board down. And then all we did is we just used our electric stapler and we just stapled that fabric back down and we're all set and ready to go on this one. So this one is finally, finally ready to sell. I have supposed to have people to come and get this tonight for I think 400 or 425. However, I had some other things come up and I could not 
get this ready to sell yet, okay? I got super, super busy. I was doing a bunch of other stuff instead. So hopefully they're coming tomorrow morning. I think I rescheduled with them tomorrow morning for them to come get this for 400 and 25 or 450 I can't remember. I'll update you guys for sure tomorrow. So we got this one, if you remember, for 85 Hopefully something from 400 for 25 And then we got this other modular sectional that we got as well. We also have the one inside too. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one inside. We're not gonna do any cleaning until tomorrow, so I'll catch you guys up then. All right, you guys, it's the next morning here. It's Tuesday morning, as you can see. And what we got going on here is we got all of these couches in here and we need to start cleaning them finally. So we got this small section that we picked up. We've sold this one before. We delivered it about 45 minutes away. You can't really see what it looks like now, obviously, because it's all pinned up against the wall. But we got that one for 225. The goal is to sell that for at least 600 to 800. We'll see what happens there. We've got one modular sectional right here, and we've got another modular sectional right here. Now we got this one from a subscriber, if you guys remember that we got that one for 550 I believe, or 525 This is a pretty good one, not too bad of shape. There's a few little spots that need to be touched up for stitching. Not too bad, nothing we haven't dealt with before. Then we got this other modular section right here we got for 425 which is a steel. And there's only one or two spots I think on this one, just like that, pretty small holes that could just, you know, go to be touched up not gonna be too hard to sew up there and this one is pretty clean as well the lady had actually just shampooed it however it does kind of have that grimy feel on top so I am going to give it another courtesy hit with our uh, fabric softener and just get it nice and soft for whoever has it next so yeah guys we're gonna go ahead and get started but first we gotta kind of reposition things in here because as you can see we do not really have a lot of room to work so I'm gonna set the camera down and we're gonna try and work something out here on so it's been a few hours now I already finished hitting these uh, with that first pass and cleaning the section out of my garage right now so I finished all of these already um, they actually weren't that bad they were not all that dirty now I am going to use another quick trick that I learned on that last couch I don't know if you remember this but the modular section I had in the last episode the one that was just filthy filthy that I actually even had to use the beater bar and the actual vacuum to clean it because it was literally that bad so after that I don't remember if I filmed it or not but I use this new product that I found called Wool Light. Um, basically what it does is restore dark fabric color. Because after hitting one of these so hard with a beater bar and the other one was so dirty, the fabric just looked so faded after. So I had to find a way. So I looked all over the internet and I was able to find this product right here. So this stuff right here is Wool Light uh, All Darks. So basically you can use this stuff, you're supposed to actually use it in like your laundry loads with like your uh, dark colored clothes to keep them looking dark and whatever. But I actually used it on these. Now I haven't actually used them on these yet because I'm about to hit it now. As you can see it got a little tank mixed up. So I did the first pass with just the normal Folex right here. Just the normal Folex and a little bit of fabric softener. And now this next pass I'm doing with just a tiny tiny bit of Folex because they're already pretty cleaned. And just a good amount of this. Um, this also makes them smell really, really good. So this is going to really help make sure that color is all the way restored and these look brand new once I'm done with them because I don't want them to look faded at all. Because remember guys, just simply all you need to do is just take pride in your work and people are going to buy from you every single time, especially if your stuff looks good and it feels good, it smells good, everything. It's way, way easier to sell something that looks nice than to sell something that looks crappy. So, I got this sectional right here. This is one of the modular sectionals here. This is another one there. These weren't too bad to clean up, to be honest with you. And then here in the garage, we got two more. So we got this sectional right here that has this little ottoman. This is the one that we fixed, um, you know, how that was so bad sagging down. We put that board under there. I didn't film that because it was kind of boring, to be honest. I don't want to bore you guys. 
Then you've got this big section right here. This one is all cleaned up and someone is actually on their way right now to check this one out. So hopefully that one goes well. Um, this one, I think I have someone coming to look tonight. I actually have a few people coming who have been waiting to look at this, but I've been so busy getting these couches all cleaned up today. So hopefully they come check that one out tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and just really simple guys, I just mixed in that wool light stuff right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing this with a quick one pass over. It's gonna make it super, super soft, smell really good, and restore all of that color so these look brand new. And then we're gonna let them dry for a few hours and come back and we're gonna stitch them up. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this up so I'll catch you guys up in a bit. All right, you guys, so some good news here. I just sold the couch that was out here, that kind of more medium sectional. Actually, it's a pretty big sectional. It was the one that I ended up having to strap to the top of my roof rack. I'll put up a screenshot of that one here. So we just sold that one. That was a really, really good one. We got that one for $225, sold that for $700. The guy came and picked it up about 45 or so minutes ago. Super, super easy one. So that's about $465, $475 profit on that one. Not bad at all. The couch is even still a little bit damp because I told him I just shampooed it and he still took it. So super good news there. Good profit there. And now on these couches right now. So as you saw out here, I already do have a few couches out here. Now these pieces out here are in really good condition. They need no stitching, no more repairs. They're super clean. So I'm letting them air dry out there a little bit quicker. It's just these pieces in here that need some minor repair. So like a little hole there on that side. And then over here, as you can see, kind of same thing, nothing too crazy. Some of these other ones are just more small ones like that. Like, I don't really need to worry too much about that. Some of them are okay shaped. They don't really need much repair, but I'm going to repair them anyways, just because like I said, like something like that, it's super small. And that's how these other few are back here. But like I said, I don't want people having a sour taste in their mouth about me. I want them to recommend me to their friends, give out my number and all of that. You just don't want to leave a bad impression, right? So anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing and I'll catch you guys up in a bit. All right, what's going on everyone? So it's Wednesday morning now. Yesterday was Tuesday when we cleaned up all the couches and got them listed. So we ended up selling quite a few couches yesterday. We had almost a $2,000 day in profit flipping these couches. It was insane. So this couch right here we had listed first. This one we ended up selling for $700. We got that one for $225. The guy came and picked that up yesterday. It was a really, really easy flip. We just hit it once with the Bissell. Super quick, super easy. It was still even a little bit damp when the guy came and got it, but he didn't really care. He just wanted to take it anyways. The next couch we sold was one of the modular ones right here. Now remember, we had two modular sectionals though. The other modular sectional I still have in my garage right now. It's technically sold, someone's coming right now just to make sure they confirm that they really want it. And then I'm going to be delivering it for a little bit of an extra charge. But we sold one modular sectional last night for $950. We got that one for $425 or $450. I can't remember, but one of those two numbers. Now this other modular sectional in here we got for $550. If she does want to take it, she's going to pay an extra $35 for delivery, and I'm going to deliver it, so that'll be a nice even $1,000 on that one, so almost a $500 profit, insane, and then the next one was this light gray sectional right here, and we got that one for $80 or $85, I can't remember, but we got it for $80 or $85, and we just sold that one last night for $465. Now, I ended up delivering that one to that guy, and funny story, he lived about 30 minutes away, and I was delivering it to him, and as I was delivering it to him, we were driving down I-15, and one of the couch cushions flew off. I had no idea it even flew off, but when we got there to deliver it to the guy, uh, he paid me and everything, and he said, hey, wait a second, I think I'm missing a couch cushion. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me, because I just had this sick feeling. It's like, I know it just flew up somewhere on I-15. And this guy lived like 30 minutes away from me, so there was like 25 miles of highway that I have no idea where this couch cushion could have flown off at. However, I got back home late last night. It was already like 10 o'clock or so, and I just got in my car, and I drove down I-15, and look what I actually ended up finding. I actually somehow found the guy's couch cushion on the side of the highway. So he was super, super cool about it. I told him, I was like, hey man, I know it's late. I can bring it by, I feel super bad. He was like, hey dude, just bring it by anytime this week. Not a big deal. So we lucked out with that. Super, super lucky. Cause I told him if I couldn't find the couch cushion, I'd Venmo him back and I'd actually buy the couch back from him and take it back. So we got super, super lucky guys. And on that note, someone's actually here right now to pick up this other couch. So I'm gonna run and do that really quick. All right, what is going on you guys? So sorry about the audio right now. It's kind of loud. I'm driving and my truck is so freaking noisy. 
Anyways though, so I hope you guys actually aren't minding the audio too much. I'm using the new uh, camera audio setup here and I need to get a new microphone because this one honestly kind of doesn't really cut it all that well. So I'm definitely working on that for you guys to get you a better you know, listening experience, video experience, all of that jazz. But this is a new camera setup so let me know down below if you guys are liking this new camera. I upgraded from just my iPhone because it's getting kind of annoying to hold my iPhone all the time. So we got a little bit of a different setup here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that and it looks a little bit better quality. Anyways though guys, so this is what we got going on. Right now we're going to pick up another modular sectional ladies and gentlemen. And that's right, another one. These couches are like, I don't know what it is. Me and this couch, we just have a relationship that cannot be broken. I really have no idea why I get this couch so much. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with me being the couch king, honestly, I don't know. So anyways though, she had this couch listed at $900. However, I saw in her description, she did say that she was moving and that she just needed it gone ASAP. So I normally wouldn't offer on someone who's already has the couch listed at kind of the price I listed at, but I went in because she said she's moving. I was like, hey, how about 700? I come pick it up right now. What do you say? And I think she's just moving pretty soon. So she's like, yeah, let's do it. 700, you come right now. So I'm coming. So I'm going to pick it up right now. I already Venmo her $100 so she can mark it as sold and take it off. As long as I can get this couch under $800, I really don't mind because getting this for $700 right now, for example, we're gonna be making like a $285 swing on this in a matter of like a few hours because this is going to sell so fast. My turnaround time on this couch is literally like, I don't even know, I think it's like less than a day and a half, less than a day if I have, if I don't have to clean it, if I can just get home and list it. This one looks pretty clean, so hopefully I'll be able to just do that. And I actually already have like, five or six more people since I listed the last two waiting on me to let them know that I just got another one. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead, run, pick this up, enough talking, I'm gonna pick this up and catch you guys back up on the back of the studio. All right, what's up guys? So I got the big sectional back to my house here. Now this sectional is just about the exact same as every other one, except the ottoman opens up on this one. So this one is a little bit newer one that they sell. So, you know, we got the Gen 2 up in the house right now. This one is in super, super good condition. There's really nothing wrong with this one at all. There's no rips, no tears, no big stains. There's a few little marks I'm just gonna wipe off. But for the most part, guys, it's really just like this kind of stuff. Just like on a few of them, there's just a little bit of like fabric pulls, like almost like they have, might have had like a cat or something. So, nothing we haven't dealt with before. It's gonna be super, super easy to go ahead and uh, get that fixed up. I already got the Manscaped out right now, so we're gonna get this trimmed up. And I've got a few people who, want, who already want it, and they just want me to send them a few pictures. So I'm gonna send them a few pictures right now. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys up in a few. All right, what is going on, everyone? So it's Friday afternoon this right now, and we sold that modular section. Remember, we got that one for $700 yesterday. I was hoping to get a one day turnaround last night, but the guy couldn't come pick it up today. So we just sold that one, he came and picked it up. We sold that one for $985. So that's a $285 profit on that one. And like I said guys, all day I'm going to buy that couch as long as it's under $800 and in good condition, especially if it's on the higher end, I'm going to buy that couch every single time because I know I can swing that for around $985 to $1,000 plus dollars every single time. So, not even worried about that anytime it's a little bit higher price because that was a $285 profit in just a matter of like a few hours. I actually didn't even put really any time into that one because it was super, super clean. I shaved off a few fabric pulls. Other than that, I maybe put like total, maybe like 30 minutes of time into that and made 285 bucks. So, a steal right there, guys, as always. And you know what, guys? It's Friday afternoon, so I think I might take the rest of the week off and upload this video Monday. I don't know, we'll see. You know, being the couch king, it's hard to resist sometimes when you come across some good looking couches. So we'll just see what happens. So I'll catch you guys up either on the outro or if I find another couch. See you in a bit. All right, you guys, it's been another real episode with y'all. It's been so fun being the couch king, guys, and just dominating this space. The profits we're making is just, honestly, guys, I have not, not seen another YouTuber. If you know another YouTuber doing these kind of profits on couch flips, tag them down below because I want to see someone else going as hard in this space as we are. We're only flipping like three or four or five couches a week and making like a thousand to two thousand dollars a week. Other people are doing like three times the amount and only making like five hundred to a thousand dollars, guys. We're absolutely crushing it right now. So tag them down below if you know anyone else going just as hard as I am. I want to connect with them. All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Let's go ahead and go over the numbers really quick because I know I didn't do that good of a job going over them this episode. 
So we got that small gray sectional for $80, sold it for $465. We made $385 on that one. Um, the little kind of bigger medium sectional with the long freaking chase with the big storage sectional, we got that for $225, sold that for $700. That was a $475 profit. The next one was a modular sectional. We got that for $550 from one of you guys out there, subscribers. If you're watching this right now, comment down below. Let me know. That would be super, super cool if you see this. So we got that for $550, sold that for $950. That's a $400 profit. Another modular sectional for $450, sold that for $985. That's a $535 profit. And then the last modular sectional we got for $700, sold for $985. That's a $285 profit. So if we're just piggybacking off of the other couch flipping series videos, our new total profit is at $13,854, guys. That's crazy. And we've done just about $24,000 in revenue. Let me repeat that, guys. We've done just about $24,000 in revenue. That is absolutely bonkers that we've done that much revenue just by flipping couches. And we've done almost 14 grand in profit just from flipping couches, guys. We haven't even gotten to some of the other crazy flipping things you can do, like flipping trailers or things like cars or dirt bikes or like maybe kitchen appliances, all that other kind of stuff, guys. But anyways, guys, it's been super real. I love doing these videos for you guys. Let me know down below what else you want to see. Let me know if you're liking these couch videos, and I'll keep on making them. Because those other comments, guys, you let me know. You wanted to keep seeing them. So I'm going to keep these couch videos coming just for you guys. And I've also got my other side hustle video series coming out pretty soon here. So make sure you like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And turn on those bell notifications, guys, because it's about to get crazy with these other side hustle videos coming out soon. And just like that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.